Okay, question number seven from this uh, June 32, June 18 and variant 32's paper. Okay, uh, we have, it says throughout this question, the use of calculator is not permitted. So please better take this as a clue. Don't use the calculator at all. It is for your good, okay? You can do those calculations where you have to find the square roots or whatever, but remember, if you use the calculator, keep the things in exact mode because we know that you cannot find the square root of three mentally, okay? So if you find this through the calculator and you use it here, so you know, you'll be losing your marks and you will not be reaching to the required conclusion, okay? Now it says the complex numbers are this and this, uh, file in the form X plus iota Y, where this is this, okay. So you have U equals minus three under root three plus iota. You have V equals under root three plus two iota. So it says we have to write these two um, in this form, okay. So now let's find this UV. So that is going to be uh, minus three under root three plus iota times under root three plus two iota. This is simple multiplication. So this will be minus three into three, that is minus nine, minus six under root three iota plus under root three iota and plus two iota square. So we have minus nine minus two, that is minus 11. And then you have minus five under root three iota. That is your U V, okay? And then you have to write this U by V. So the U by V, you have this minus three under root three plus iota divided by under root three plus two iota. And never forget, whenever you have the complex numbers as a ratio, as a fraction, so you have to uh, rationalize this, okay? So this is under root three minus two iota over under root three minus two iota. So now your um, simple maths is required here. So this down here is gonna be three plus four. Remember when you have um, a plus iota b times a minus iota b, that becomes a square plus b square. Because you know your iota square b square would be minus b square. So that would make this a square minus b square a square plus b square. Okay, now there is some multiplication required here. So uh, we have already multiplied them here if you look at the left. So I'll be just trying to, um, there would be a bit change of sign here. This one is going to be plus six under root three iota. And then you have plus under root three iota. And then you have uh, plus, and then this will be minus two iota square. Okay, so we have, minus nine plus two, that is minus seven. And then you have plus seven under root three iota over seven. Finally, your U by V is going to be minus one plus under root three iota, okay? Okay, uh, examiner has given us five easy marks here. So uh, we should be mentally prepared for some harder questions maybe in the next part, okay? Let's see what do we have in the next parts here. Okay, now it says on a sketch of an argon diagram uh, with origin O, show the points A and B um, representing the complex numbers U and V, okay? Prove that angle AOB is two pi by three. Okay. Okay. So 
सो आई नीड दिस यू एंड आई नीड दिस बी ठीक है नो प्रॉब्लम ओके सो आई नीड टू क्लियर सम एरिया फ्रॉम हेयर Okay, guys. So we are have to show that this angle AOB is two pi by three. No problem with that. So here we are. Okay. Try to use a ruler here. Okay. You must be trying using a ruler and. i am to draw it by my hand okay i'm sorry for that okay now it says um, the point a and b have to be like you know point a representing u u is uh, minus 3 and root 3 plus iota as i want to tell you that i have used calculator here okay uh, though it was given that we don't have to use a calculator but to determine to to have an idea that uh, what is the magnitude of these minus 3 and root 3 or this and root 3 so for this purpose you can use your calculator but i'll not be showing this on my actual working over here okay so i have here this is going to be my 1 this is my 2 and i will be showing here i will have that under root 3 okay and then maybe i can mark this up to 3 and then i have here 1 and then i have here 2 and i have here 3 okay and then i have here minus 1 minus 2 and then uh you see i have to go up to this this is minus 3 this is minus 4 this one is minus 5 and then somewhere here between minus 5 and 6 i have here minus 3 under root 3 okay okay so this is what we need here and now i'll be showing this these numbers here so u is minus 3 and root 3 plus iota so here is my u i'll be representing this by a and then v is under root 3 plus 2 iota this is under root 3 plus this is my v and that is to be represented by this b over here okay so then it says um we have to um show that we have to show that angle a, and here is your point o okay so i'll be using this line tool over here to draw then here this is my ob and this one is oa okay and we have to show that this angle aob this angle aob b is 2 pi by 3 okay yes you see i i just wrote down these uh, u v and u by v that i found through the previous parts working and this will be helping me now okay ah uh, yes i got it okay now for example guys if this angle is angle x okay that is the argument of this angle i mean complex number b and this angle over here is pi okay and this is the argument of the complex number u can i say that angle aob angle aob is the argument of u minus argument of v hmm hai na bachcho and then can we say that it is same as argument of u over v yes we have done that okay this is the rule to be used here and argument of u by this is your u by v over here let me write here your u by v is minus 1 plus under root 3 iota you see that if you have that in your mind this is this would be somewhere over here okay and if you find this basic angle here uh if this is theta over here this theta would be tan inverse of this under root 3 and that is clearly pi by 3 hai na this is pi by 3 this would be pi by 3 i have drawn it over here okay this is pi by 3 and this angle over here would be pi minus 
pi by 3. And that is going to be 2 pi by 3. That is how you will be proving that this angle AOB is going to be 2 pi by 3. Guys, if you don't use this rule, there is no other way that you can get the exact value of this angle AOB. Okay? Okay, question number 8. The diagram shows a curve this and its minimum point M. Find the x coordinate of it. You must love such, I mean, questions where there is no thinking required, okay? You, you only have to, you know, you, you just straight away start differentiating it. I'll be doing it here because I have to manage my space here. So my y is equal to x plus 1 into e raised to power minus 1 over 3x. This is clearly a question on u dot b thing. So if you have y equal to u dot b, so your dy by dx would be u v dash plus v u dash, okay? So if your u is x plus 1 and your v is e raised to power minus 1 over 3x, so you, you must be writing down quickly what is your u dash and what is your v dash. Remember, e raised to power minus 1 over 3x derivative is e raised to power minus 1 over 3x times minus 1 over 3. So let me write that minus 1 over 3 over here. Okay, so this is one minus one over three, just a bit of overlapping here. Let me write this again. So this is V equal to minus one over three, e raised to minus one over three X. So we have our dy by dx, that is going to be U V dash. This is minus one over three, e raised to minus one over three X times X plus one. And then you have plus, e raised for minus one over three x times one. And you straight away put that equal to zero because when you have to find the stationary point, you put your dy by dx equal to zero. We can take this e raised to power minus one over three x common, okay? So you have this, um, in fact, let me take minus one over three e raised to power this as common. So you have x plus one here and you have minus three over Okay, and that is equal to zero. So this means either this part is, you have to show all this working, but so either, so I have done that minus three over here, no? I wrote that minus three over here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so uh, this is not going to give us any value, okay? So there is no solution from here. So we just ignore this. And then I have the second part that is going to be X minus two that is equal to zero and your X equal to two. Now, remember he's only asking you for the X coordinate of this M. So some people waste their time by finding the Y coordinate as well. So just see what is required over here, okay? So now let's see what is in this um, second part. It says find the area of the shaded region enclosed by the curve and the x-axis giving your answer in terms of E. Okay, let me look at this diagram again. And I would in fact be finding this area over here. Okay, so it says uh, find this area over here and um, give your answer in terms of E. I'm going to clear all of this. Okay, so guys to find that area, you will have to find that what is this point over here? Okay, what is what are the coordinates of this point? So for that purpose, you will have to put your y equal to zero. So when you put your y equal to zero, you get x plus one into e raised to power minus one over three x that is equal to zero. So you have x plus one equal to zero or e raised to power minus one over three x equal to zero. You get no solution from here, okay? You know that. And from here you get x equal to minus one. So this means here you have x equal to minus one. So when you have to find this area, so while finding this area, you will be, um, wait a second, okay. So to find this area, we'll be integrating this, the limit. So this area is going to be limit from minus one to zero. And this is X plus one times E raised to the power minus one over three X. Okay, how would you integrate this, guys? Hmm? Integrate by y. 
Yeah, yeah. great, mashallah. Integration by part. So it's better to write the formula. This is given in your booklet as well. So this is U B minus U dash V dx. Okay. So let's mention that our U over here is x plus one, and our V dash is e raised to power minus one over three x. So your U dash is going to be one, and your V is going to be e raised to power minus one over three x over minus one over three. That will give you minus three e raised to power minus one over three x. Okay, so let's um, um, integrate this thing. So uh, for a moment, I'll be ignoring these limits. Okay, so this is going to be u as it is, and then I have this integral. Let me write minus three over here. E raised to minus one over three x minus u dash is one. And into this minus three e raised to power minus one over three x. Okay, just knead it up. This is going to be minus three into x plus one e raised to power minus one over three x. And then minus into minus that will get become plus three. And then you still have to integrate this. Okay. And finally, we have the integral now. This will be. Um, and I'll be putting those limits here as well. Limit from minus one to zero. Mentioning the limits here. Now this is going to be minus three x plus one um, e raised to power minus one over three x, and this will become minus nine e raised to power minus one over three x. Okay, remember you will be getting e raised for this integral is e raised for minus one over three x. Over minus one over three. So this is this its reciprocal is minus three. So minus three into this three over here will become minus nine over here. Let's put the limits in here. Okay. So now we have this. When you put zero here, you get minus three into one into e raised to zero minus nine e raised to zero. When you put minus one here, you have all of this will be zero. This is going to be zero, and then you have minus nine uh, e raised to power one over three. Yes. So we have minus three minus nine. That is minus twelve plus nine e raised to power one by three. 